Okay, there's a, I could have went to a lot of other places, but there's a reason why we're here. So we're gonna take that offering that he's given to us for us to move ahead. Because here's my issue. Less than 30% of our children are born into two-parent households. Family fragmentation has begun to be epidemic, an epidemic that we're dealing with in the United States of America, and particularly in families of color. So now you have a responsibility to make sure that your stuff is together and that not only are you happy, but you're giving a great example to your children. They need to see a good, strong, healthy marriage, one where everybody participating is happy. You understand what I'm saying? So that they can go on to build that for themselves. So that's why we're here. So I need you to commit like I'm committing. Are you all in? Yeah. No, I need more than that. I need to raise a hand. Are we all in? Yeah. All right. I believe that that's one of the promises that we have in life. So when we, those two become one, it's supposed to be joyous. I'm not going to tell you that it's supposed to be great all the time. No, marriages go through seasons. You all know that, right? You have winter, spring, summer, and fall. And there are seasons that we go through where it gets really cold and hard and th there seems to be no love and nothing's, you know, clack a lacking like it's supposed to. But then for uh, those of us that have wisdom, we understand that it's not always going to be like that. And as soon as we wait a while and we go through the transition that that relationship needs to go through, the snow will melt. And that's, that breeze will come again, that warm breeze, and things will begin to warm up again and the love will flow. Now there's a lot of people that don't know that, so they jump ship thinking that it's over, things have changed. What I want to present to you is this. Relationships are organic. They're meant to change. Are you hearing me? They're meant to change. You are not the person that I married, because you're not supposed to be. Are you the same person you were when you were 15, ma'am? No, right? I am not the same person that I was last year, because every year I grow, every year I change. And I want us to agree on one thing, that we're going to not be afraid of change. Change is a part of life, and we're going to accept it. What I want to present to you, though, is that in relationships, a lot of times we fight change because we think we're losing something. The only time that people fear change is, is when they fear that they're going to lose something. But I think that the changes that we go through, even arguments, I want you to think about arguments a little bit differently. A lot of times you're fighting because the relationship needs to move on. It needs to evolve into another dimension of its existence. So what it's asking you is it's saying, I need you to make some adjustments. I need you to make some changes now because now our relationship has to evolve. It has to change into something else. But when you don't do that and you resist and you don't recognize this is our opportunity, this is an appointment for us to get together, figure out what we need to do differently so that we can evolve. We have the law of gravity. If you don't believe in gravity, just go jump off the top of this roof. You'll, it will make a believer out of you. It doesn't matter whether you believe in it or not, it operates. And so this law is the law of a vow. It's a binding agreement. And what you have to know, when you make an inner vow, it really does happen. So a lot of you all have made inner vows about what you will do and what you will not do, and then you wonder why you have a problem. Do you understand that love is a reciprocal force? So if I will not love somebody with my whole self, I will never get love from somebody else. They will never be able to love me with their whole self because I have not given them my whole self, so how can they love what I have not released to them? Does that make sense? So usually the people that say that kind of stuff are people that really need to be loved. They really need real love, but because they're trying to hold it back, they'll never really get it. And that's really what you're after, isn't it? Everybody just wants to be loved, and everybody just wants to be happy. So you need to now go back and undo any of those vows that you have associated with those mechanisms. And, the way that, and we're going to walk through that. Because what you're going to do is you're going to say, I, I do not agree and I disavow any, this internal vow that I've made. And you have to be specific about it. And then you're able to break it.